When you love someone, you want to give. And God gave this great present, the greatest gift. Awesome. God is so big. He gives such an awesome gift. And how do we receive such a gift as God himself? It's kind of, it would be hard. We can't even fathom. But sometimes we need to break it down to something we can relate to. Like, in our lives, what, what do we get that's really big sometimes? Maybe, I don't know, a couch. That's really big. And it's a commitment, too, right? When, when you get a couch, you're going to keep it for a long time. So let's break it down and compare it to receiving a couch. Just so we can relate to it. So, first of all, you have to decide you want it. We have to decide that we want God. I mean, seriously decide. This is a commitment. A couch is a commitment. God's an even bigger commitment. We have to decide in our heart. This is what we really want. Next, we have to go get it. We have to order it. We have to make the commitment and scoot over. Speaking of scooting over, you've got to find a place for it at home. We have to make a place for God in our hearts, in our homes. That means moving some things around, making a space. And sometimes we have to get rid of some things in our lives that do not agree and are not compatible with God. He cannot have a dwelling place in a soul with mortal sin. And even some venial sins are very offensive and make it hard for him to stay. So we have to scoot some things over. And that means um, we got to clean up, right? When you move that couch out of the way, there's some unsightly things behind the couch, right? You gotta clean that up. So we go to confession. We make our souls clean to receive the Lord. The Lord cannot abide in an unclean place. So we go to confession. And then we have to make an appointment to have this couch delivered. So if we wanna spend some time with God, we want God to come to us, we have to make an appointment. Put him on the schedule. Lord, I'm going to sit with you on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Or I'm going to get up really early and I'm going to meet you at prayer time before work. Or my lunch break. Or after work. Or before bed. You're going to make a date. And then once you schedule this couch's delivery, are you going to go to lunch? No, you're going to be there. You're going to show up. So once you schedule to have this time with the Lord, just show up. He wants to spend the time with you. And, and how is it when you make a date with someone and you don't show up? How does that make them feel? So is God any less than a person? He's even greater. So for sure, show up. And if you want to get even closer to the Lord, make these dates for every day and show up. And just sit with Him and pray with Him. And sometimes you don't have to have anything prepared to pray. Just let Him be God and give to you. And you can meditate on some scripture, which is what we're gonna be doing tonight. Um, the Sunday Bulletin, they always list the gospel readings for the whole week. So you go to Sunday Mass, you get your bulletin, you got your readings for the whole week, you set your date, you keep your time, you sit, and you pray with the Lord, you can open the scripture to these scriptures.